in favor, will you please communicate your affirmative support? On Thursday, Central Unified holding a special virtual meeting and became the first district in the Valley to extend their school closure till May 4th. But Fresno Unified not making any extensions just yet. Fresno Unified School District Superintendent Bob Nelson joining us now. Bob, I have to tell you, I know you've been doing a lot of social media during this time off during the coronavirus um, hiatus, if you will. Your ukulele skills have really gotten a lot better. <laughs> I'm honestly, Alex, and I think you probably didn't have a very high bar for ukulele <laughs> playing prior, but uh, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Well, all joking aside, this is a serious time, and we kind of want to know that uh, what you're doing on social media to help students uh, pass the time. You're you're kind of um, schooling them in your own right. Tell us what you're doing. You know, a couple different things. Obviously, our intent is to get out as much information as we can. So from a pure communication standpoint, we're putting out uh, our normal communications on Fridays, as I do normally via video, as well as Monday mornings, and, you know, ongoing as major updates have happened. But in addition to that, you know, uh, some of people know in Fresno that have been here for a while, I would taught sixth grade for a long time. So in my heart of hearts, I'm still an elementary school teacher. And so I've been reading books to kids, and this thing has kind of taken on a life of its own. Um, somebody captured the first... Uh, a screenshot I did on the first day that the kids were out of school and uh, I've been it's kind of taken on a life of its own I've been reading books ever since so it's really fun to connect with people and to kind of share what's happening in my world and share good literature I try to be really responsible making sure I'm getting the author's mm -hmm. permission from for from the point of view of using that in a fair use practice you know you don't want to take people's intellectual property but the sharing of good books keeps kids connected and gives them a laugh every day and so if I can do that for them it's a wonderful thing you know, following the statewide uh, shelter in place that the governor has now ordered, um, we're, we're kind of waiting to see. I know that everybody says April 14th, that is still the date that many may go back to school. You still don't know that officially for Fresno Unified. Are you thinking or prepared to say that the rest of the school year could be canceled? Our intent would not be to get in front of that, right? The worst of it was materializing began kind of on the 21st of January and ran through March 19th when they didn't have any new reported cases. But I think that's not intent of flattening the curve. So that's a two month window. If we flatten the curve and it goes three months, you know, obviously we'd love to be able to get back in school in any time that we can. We're taking the governor's lead on that. You know, states are the ones that are responsible for providing the directionality mm -hmm. that, um, individual school districts will go and so we're waiting for kind of statewide word but our intent would not be to close one thing we've talked about today alex on is seniors really want to be able to make the most of their last quarter of their senior year and so try to preserve some of those things for them that are so crucially important to high school experience you know we'll try to cling to that to the you know we won't give up on that until we're absolutely told that there are no other options you know there's been word that the governor uh may decide that says standardized testing for whether it be elementary all the way up to the high school level could be uh, foregone this year. Um, what, are, what are you hearing and, and what is the logistics of that when you're talking to parents, when you're talking to teachers and staff where standardized testing could be uh, eliminated this year because of the virus and then uh, students go on to the next grade? Is that how it would work? Well, that much we do know. The governor and the um, president have both come out and said that standardized testing would not take place in this current cycle because of the missed days of school and no way to anticipate how long a period of time. This is kind of the beginning of our testing window right now in the lead up to spring break, too. So uh, that that is one element that we are fairly sure of. We will not have standardized testing. How can that impact? The hard ways it impacts us are, you know, if we give kids like a pass fail grade on these fourth quarter reports, some of those kids that are juniors in high school, for example, are counting on those electives to grade and to uh, move their grade point average forward. So obviously, but that's affecting kids across our state, certainly, and across our nation. So I think nationally, we'll have to come up with some different standards of what's going to happen with kids and what are we going to do with the year that's current. Yeah. For our seniors, we're trying to make sure that they get everything they need to get across the graduation state. It's crucially important for them that kids who are doing credit recovery have the opportunity to get caught up and actually graduate. So and, some of those processes Bob, are still moving forward, but we will not have 
standardized testing in its normal form. Sorry. Bob, I got 20 seconds. You're talking about seniors. I want to finish with this commencement for Fresno State, Fresno City, Fresno Pacific. They have all been canceled. Are you prepared to say that uh, commencement graduation ceremonies across the board could be canceled across Fresno Unified? No way. In fact, no, absolutely not. In fact, I will say that as late as it takes, we will try to do something for our seniors. The ability for those kids to cross the graduation stage is crucial to the degree that we will do something. When? I don't know. What it'll look like? I'm not sure. But we will do something as a system to recognize those kids and to give their parents a chance to cheer their accomplishments of the last 14 years. Superintendent Bob Nelson, Fresno Unified School District. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Alex. Son. Have a great day. You too. All right, up next, our panel is going to return. Should there be high school graduations? And is it right to shut down some food services for students during spring break? We'll talk about it next.